Hey guys, John V here from Phone Arena. We just got in our LG Thrill 4G review unit. Gonna do a quick unboxing, show you the handset. It's already out in Europe, of course, where it's known as the LG Optimus 3D. It's gonna be available here shortly with AT&T. No word yet an exact date, but it's expected to come with a $100 on contract price, which is pretty impressive, to tell you the truth. So let's just take a look and see uh, what's inside the box and how the handset's like. So in terms of packaging, nothing different about it. Your typical AT&T box with that orange and white look to it. You have the image of the handset up front. Sides, you have the serial information. The bottom edge, you get some pertinent information such as the packaging contents, some information on the, on the left hand side, and on the back, yet another image of the handset. So let's open up and see what else is included with the uh, box. So here's the handset. Not, it doesn't change one bit from the uh, European version, the uh, LG Optimus uh, 3D. Quite similar to other previous LG smartphones like the uh, G2X, the Optimus 2X. Uh, has that large, you know, large display. Soft touch coating feel in the back. You see the prominent AT&T branding. The uh, 3D stereoscopic, you know, branding right there. Two cameras. So let's see what else we have right here. Actually, we're going to put in the battery here. So here's the back. Let's get the battery. Battery's right there. And it comes with actually, if we could see it here, see what size it is. It doesn't say, let's see in the back. There we go. 1540 milliamp hour battery included with it. So pretty pretty large. So let's put it in. You have the micro SD card slot right up there, SIM card slot. Um, it's just nice that you don't have to remove the battery in order to gain access to the card itself, so it's pretty much hot swappable. Back cover just snaps on like that. And turning on, power button right up top. Let's turn that on. And while we wait, we'll take a look and see what else is included with the packaging here. So first thing you see, the LG Thrill 4G Quick Start Guide. Some useful information, some pamphlets, stay connected Wi-Fi, nothing out of the ordinary get right into some of the other included accessories. Pretty typical, nothing out of the ordinary. Micro USB cable right there. Combines with the wall charger. USB port on one side, plug it into the other. There you go. And finally, the nice thing about what LG packs in with the, uh, with the Thrill 4G is the, uh, the uh, HDMI cable. Not that often you see smartphones coming along with that, so it's definitely nice to see that they include that. Of course, all priced at $100 on contract, so pretty neat. We're very, very, very pleased to see that cable included, so you don't have to go out and get it for yourself. So let's take a look at the handset here. Let's do a quick, uh, video, quick uh, hardware tour of the device. So right off the bat, we have that large size 4.3 inch WVGA uh, display, 480 by 800 pixels. Of course, we've seen uh, QHD become very prominent. Still, nonetheless, w WVGA might appeal to some people still. Left hand side, you have the micro USB port and HDMI port right there. Easy access under the flaps. Top side, looks like you have a 3.5 millimeter headset jack, dedicated power button, kind of flush to the surface. Pinhole right there as well, which is probably for the noise cancellation microphone. The right hand side, you have the uh, volume rocker, kind of juts out just a little bit. The camera, the shutter key, says 3D right there. And on the back, you have the cover, of course, soft touch feel to it, a nice pattern, AT&T logo, very prominent. The notches here for the speaker. Nice, uh, you know, this nice silver piece that we find on other LG smartphones. Gives it a little bit of nice accents. And you have two cameras, I believe it's two 5 megapixel autofocus cameras with a single LED flash right there. So you have the ability to shoot 3D videos and photos. As far as the software, actually it's worth noting also it has um, a front facing camera for video chat. And you have your usual set of capacitive Android buttons. Android 2.2 Froyo running on top of LG's customized user interface. And of course, uh, the dual core processor is intact, so you get a really fast Peppy one. I believe it's the uh, the uh, Nvidia Tegra 2 chipset that we find so common uh, amongst some of these uh, smartphones nowadays. Speed looks decent, very good, smooth so far, and of course, it's going to be. Uh, it needs a fast processor for all the 3D stuff. Let's get into the 3D 3D display. So, um, you can tell here there's a 3D space uh, icon on, right on the uh, application bar right there. 
turn it on, you tap it, you get access to the 3D interface of the handset, which is nice because the Evo 3D doesn't have, doesn't employ its very own 3D interface, and it's just nice having this on board. You know, you can you can't see it here in the video, but if you take a look in stores when it comes out, you'll see what I mean. It's definitely nice, and it's a good way of just showcasing the 3D functionality of the handset. And the good thing about it so far from what we've been checking out here, it looks like the 3D display is a, is a little bit better in terms of viewing angles versus the Evo 3D. You don't have to like, um, you still see it at, ang at various angles, uh, different degrees, whereas with the Evo 3D you gotta really look on, head, uh, head uh, you know, straight at a 90, 90 degree angle to see it. So let's take a look at this 3D interface because it looks like it's the most prominent, one of the more prominent things. And we like it, you, see, you notice it's also still in 3D, this uh, 3D gallery app here with the photos. Definitely nice indeed. Nice to see that they offer that. We have YouTube 3D. Of course, as long as videos are shot in 3D, you'll be able to see it in 3D, just like we saw at the Evo, on uh, the uh, HTC Evo 3D. 3D guide and some applications, some games that aren't 3D, pretty nice. And so far, running very smooth, not that much evidence on any slowdown lag. So we'll be checking it out, see how it works. But in the meantime, this is John V, and you've been checking out the LG, the LG Thrill 4G for AT&T. We'll have our review up definitely down the road.